Muhammad, peace be upon him, believed that there was only one Allah, creator of the sun, the moon, the earth, the sky, and of all living things and that all people should worship only him. Muhammad, peace be upon him, would often leave the crowded city and go to the cave in Mount Hira. He liked to be alone there, away from all thoughts of the world and daily life, eating and drinking little. In his 40th year, Muhammad, peace be upon him, left Mecca to spend Ramadan, the traditional month of retreat, in the cave. In the second half of Ramadan, Allah began to reveal his message for mankind through Muhammad, peace be upon him. This first revelation occurred as follows. The Archangel Gabriel came to Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the cave and commanded him to read. Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied I cannot read. At this, the Archangel took Muhammad, peace be upon him, in his arms and pressed him to him until it was almost too much to bear. He then released him and said again read. I cannot, replied Muhammad, peace be upon him, at which the Archangel embraced him again. For the third time, the Archangel commanded Muhammad, peace be upon him, to read, but still, he said he could not and was again embraced. On releasing him this time, however, the Archangel Gabriel said, Read, in the name of thy Lord who created, created man from a clot. Read, and thy Lord is the most generous who teacheth by the pen, teacheth man that which he knew not. Quran 96.1-5, Muhammad, peace be upon him, repeated these verses, just as the Archangel had said them. When the Archangel was sure Muhammad, peace be upon him, knew them by heart, he went away. Now that he was alone Muhammad, peace be upon him, could not understand what had happened to him. He was terribly afraid and rushed out of the cave. Perhaps the cave was haunted? Perhaps the devil had taken a hold of his mind? But he was stopped by a voice from heaven which said, Zero Muhammad, peace be upon him, you are the messenger of Allah, and I am Gabriel. He looked up at the sky and wherever he turned he saw the archangel Gabriel. In a state of confusion, he returned home to Khadija. When his wife saw him she became very worried as he began to shiver, as though in a fever. He asked her to wrap him in blankets, which she did. After a while, he recovered sufficiently to tell her what had happened at Hira. Khadija believed all that he told her and with great respect said, Be happy, zero sons of my uncle and be confident. Truly I swear by Allah who is my soul in his hands, that you will be our people's prophet. Muhammad, peace be upon him, the messenger of Allah, was eased by her faith in him, but after all that had happened, he was exhausted and fell fast asleep. Khadija left the prophet, peace be upon him, sleeping and went to see her cousin, Waraka ibn Nafal, to ask him what he thought about all that had happened. Waraka was a very wise man who had read many books and had become a Christian after studying the Bible. He told Khadija that Muhammad, peace be upon him, had been chosen by Allah to be his messenger. Just as the Archangel Gabriel had come to Moses before and had ordered him to guide his people, so, too, would Muhammad, peace be upon him, be the prophet of his people. But Waraka warned that all the people would not listen to the prophet and some would mistreat his followers. He must, however, be patient because he had a great message for all the world. From that day on, the Archangel Gabriel came often to the prophet, peace be upon him, and the verses he taught him, the message from Allah to man, were later written down, and are known to us as the Holy Quran.